Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's always a pleasure to have you guys stumble across my videos and I just always feel so happy when I just get on here to talk to y'all, whether it's about school, whether it's about God, whether it's about, I don't know, a plethora of things. I just love to be open and honest and transparent with people. Today's video isn't gonna be that long. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on everything that's been going on in my life. Let's get right into it. I wanna talk about my um, journey with school. So I've like kinda touched bases on it in a few videos I have when I'm traveling for school related events, but I never really went into detail about what I'm doing in particular. So I am a current business major. I plan on double majoring in business administration as well as accounting. And I'm also trying to major, I plan on minoring, I'm sorry, in Spanish. I absolutely love my major. Right now I am taking business law for the summer and I am taking um, Spanish 102, which is my second Spanish class. I've taken at this college, not overall. I have a B in Spanish right now. If I'm not mistaken, I also have a, a 90 in business law. So um, I really love it. Business law, I'm just overly infatuated with i just feel like i'm a law student i'm learning about a lot of things that i didn't know just like a plethora of topics that business law um covers and i'm just so intrigued y'all when reading about it i love doing the case studies i just love reading about the supreme court cases i love reading about a lot of things that i thought i had a basic decent knowledge of and i actually did it also, I will be graduating in December for my upcoming fall semester. So I'm taking some summer classes now. I just finished off the spring and then I believe I'm taking four or five classes next semester for the fall. But I do walk across the stage and finally acquire my degree um, in December. So I'm super excited. It's just a bunch of beautiful things that's going to happen next semester. And I want to get into the books. So... If you know me and you know me personally, I really love books. I've always been a book reader growing up, but after high school, I kind of slacked off reading. It's kind of like I fell out of love with it when I wasn't forced to actually do it. Then one day I picked up a book when I was homeless. The book is actually called The Book Thief by Mark Zusak. Oh my goodness, y'all. That took me out of my yearly book slumps that I was in and it just gave me the love to read books again i can't even express to you how much i love books just the knowledge the adventure that books take you but i want to tell you guys just a little bit about what i've been reading and what i plan on reading and what i have read so here are my books and i'm just gonna go into a little detail about them no spoilers though this is the book that i previously just read i honestly don't even know what to say about it this was the saddest the most detrimental, the most heart-wrenching book I have ever read in my life, but it is one of the best written books. The plot twist at the end was crazy. I will never read it again. I actually planned on burning it. I did rate this 4.5 stars. This was a really good book, but again, I will never read it again. I don't ever want to read another book like this. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, find out, and if you won't find out, great you're not missing out so that's that i actually did start this book but um i kind of put it in a dnf pile but i actually picked this one back up because i feel like i can take something useful from this i don't really get a lot of self-help books and books that's geared around um mental health and life goals and realistic stuff you know i get a lot of fiction books but I want to get some more self-help books and like books that can help me with real deal real life problems so i'm gonna finish this soon i'm probably like next week or whatever the case is but yes i'm currently reading this one i'm also currently reading of no lies by um john comer this is a really good book as of now certain things that he said in this book I don't necessarily agree with as you can identify this genre as being christian or spiritual this is strictly talking about ways that the enemy sabotages your peace how the devil works his his plans his strategies different things like that and a lot of things that he said really hit the nail on the head in this book um but also a few things i was just like uh no i actually plan on finishing this book tonight because it's a really quick read i believe it's 
only 200 something pages which is not long at all so this will be getting finished tonight the book that i plan to start after i finish those two is the count of monte cristo i i'm very intrigued i love books that can be classified as literature so i'm super excited to read this after this book is also a very short book it's only 590 something pages which isn't a lot at all now let's go on to social media so i have decided to um go on a social media detox for a year i actually started may 22nd and i recently just made a full month yesterday um because social media is just very toxic i'm gonna just go ahead out there and say it to each his own some people may like it some people don't i feel like with my walk with god and things that god has been revealing to me social media is a very detrimental thing to have in my life at this moment it's just such a big distraction it took me away from god significantly I just honestly don't feel the need to have that in my life so i've deleted all of my social media some of them i have permanently deactivated and honestly i've just been so much happier um without social media and it's only been a month next let's talk about family my family has always been toxic and when i say toxic i mean very toxic the dysfunctionality hasn't just started now that i'm 24 it has been here since i knew what dysfunctionality was because of my family i suffer with a lot of mental health issues because of certain things that they have done to me i've went to therapy i've went to counseling i've um taken medication i've been to mental hospitals i've been suicidal i've suffered with depression i have um not anymore but i thought i had like a mood disorder um the doctors even thought i was bipolar at one point it was just a lot going on and the problem with my family they feel as if they don't need help and that's a very dangerous thing to me at least in my opinion i have removed myself away from them and i'm not gonna lie it hurts i think it's been like a month um since i've talked to my parents i have been struggling with unforgiveness i have been struggling with um anger i have been struggling with like bitterness and resentment towards my parents and i it, it's just a healing journey right now i'm on a healing journey right now and i'm asking god to deliver me from those feelings i've been plagued with nightmares about certain things with my parents i wake up and i cry randomly um because it hurts and these are the people that's supposed to care for you and be nurturing to you and protect you but my family was the exact opposite my family are the type of people that'll put you down they'll tell you you won't amount to anything these are the type of people who will use you these are the type of people that are very controlling and conniving and manipulative and they don't see anything wrong with that i have decided to go no contact with certain members in my family and um i just feel like it'll give me peace and when god chooses to rekindle our relationship that's when he'll do it but as of right now I have chosen to walk away and I'm praying and asking God to give me the heart to forgive them for what they have done to me. So that's why I am as if, as far as like my family aspect. Let's talk about relationships where I've been with relationships in my life. Right now I am single and I'm choosing not to have um, any dealings with any men. It's not that I necessarily want that for myself. It's like I need that right now. I have learned that I choose the wrong men. I have learned that I get impatient with God. And what I mean about that is I sit here and I pray for a husband and I'm like, God, you know, I'm gonna wait on you this time. And I, I really want you to send me who you want me to be with, who is right for me. And then months go by and it's like, I feel alone and I don't have anybody. And I want somebody that I could talk to and confide in. What I told God previously is like, lame yap now i mean it has no more meaning it's vanity at that point i get impatient i get lonely and i talk to the wrong um kind of men most of them are sent by the devil and i'm, I'm very aware of that i'm very 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 aware but in those moments i don't care because it's like oh i want somebody to talk to but right now i have realized relationships are not for me and i can sit here and be honest with myself and say i have a lot of mental health issues that i need to work on i have a lot of spiritual things that i need to work on i need to love myself more i need to love god more before i call myself getting into a relationship and not only do i not want to get into a relationship i don't want to get in a relationship with somebody that God didn't send for me. Even if I had all of those other things in order that I previously mentioned, if I'm still with a person that God didn't ordain for me, it's pointless. Like the relationship is gonna be hell. And I don't I don't want that. I don't believe in being unequally yoked. I just want to focus on God, work, school, and my animals.
And now that I'm talking about animals, let's get into the next topic. So I do have a new addition to the family. Like I know I have told you guys about Halo and I'm pretty sure you've seen her in my videos. That is my beautiful baby girl. She's my doggy. Um, I'm not really sure if I mentioned too much about Chance the Rabbit. That's his name, but I call him Chancey. Um, I have a black bunny, so he's also my son. And I recently just adopted a cat. I've decided to name him Onyx because of his pattern and his color. So he will be here, honestly, in a few days. And I'm excited because I love animals. Like, I don't have any children. I have no desire to have children. I don't want to have children out of wedlock. I'm not really where I want to be at financially, um, career-wise, and things like that. And definitely, I don't want to anger God by having a child before I'm married. So animals are suiting me just fine for right now um and just a few hobbies that i've just been into recently or you know trying to get into crocheting or knitting i've been wanting to do that so i plan on buying crochet needles and some yarn and stuff to get into a new hobby with that i've also been teaching myself how to bake y'all i suck at baking when i tell you i suck like the cupcakes always come out flat i can't ever seem to get a banana bread the right way i suck at it but i love it i love the process of cooking although the meal does not come out right it's just beautiful to just get into a new hobby even if you fail at it so that's what i've been telling myself don't get caught up on the fact that the cupcakes keep coming out half done it's okay is the point is you're trying to learn something new and the journey is beautiful you know so my next um dessert that i'm planning on making is chocolate chip cookies and i just pray lord please let these cookies come out cooked <laughs> and come out the right way i've also recently gotten back into the gym because i started having some health problems and i realized that i wasn't taking care of my body especially when i'm going through episodes and seasons where i'm like depressed and i'm mentally drained i neglect a lot of things that i shouldn't neglect i've been trying to eat better and honestly it's been giving me energy i've been feeling better um, I've also recently gotten into running and that's something that I never thought I would have been able to do. I love to run. It is so invigorating. It feels so good to finish a run and it's just like it's a mental thing at least for me. So I'm happy that God has given me the strength to get up and actually do something and stop being lazy. But yeah that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how my life has been going. This is like a basic overall update so you guys can get to know Jennifer on a deeper level. We have some, um, some new projects coming up. I I don't want to speak too much on it because the bible say don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing just know we got some good stuff coming y'all and i'm super excited to share with you guys i'm super excited to just put it out into the world because if you think you know me now just wait and see <laughs> i really do appreciate you guys for watching my video it's always an honor i feel so blessed that you guys stumbled across my video um i pray that you're walking with god i pray that you are in a season right now where you're disciplined and you're committed and you're just giving your giving your all to god just reconciling your relationship with him you know that's always a beautiful thing i hope you guys stay committed i hope you guys continue to allow god to light this fire underneath your feet and i just pray that this video touch you somehow some way you know tell me in the comments if you can relate to anything that i've said and i love you and yeah